when Adam is placed in the Garden of Eden, it's a beautiful place. And he's told he can eat from all the trees in the garden, except for one, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So the truth is, Adam had his choice of many trees. One tree was the tree of life, the Eitz Chaim. If he ate that tree, he would live forever. But he was told, stay away from that attractive tree, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For if he eats that tree, then his punishments would be, he would be banished from the garden and actually eventually die. Well, we know the end of the story. He ate from the tree of, of knowledge and was banished and eventually died. But is there a way that he could have eaten from the tree of knowledge and still lived? So the rabbis say, if he ate from the Eitz HaChaim, if he ate from the tree of life first, then he would have been permissible for him to go and to eat, and beneficial for him to go and to eat from the tree of knowledge. What's remarkable for us is that the tree of life is representative of the Torah, and the tree of knowledge is representative of life's experiences. A person who goes after many life's experiences without delving first into the wisdom of the Torah is destined to have many challenges and yes, even die in this world. But a person who looks into the Torah first, the Eitzah Chaim, the Tree of Life, he grabs it, then he learns about all of life's wisdoms first. He learns about what it means to have a good marriage, what it means to be a good parent, what it means to be a loyal friend. And then, after he learns this Torah, he can apply it into life's experiences. In Judaism, there's two people that we stand up for and it is a sign of respect. One person is the person who's a Torah scholar, even though he might be very young. But since he knows life's wisdoms from the Torah, it's worthy to stand up for him. Another person is a person who's a fine person, but a very old person, 70, 80 years old. That person also has wisdom. But the difference is he learned his wisdom through the school of hard knocks. We have to take inspiration from the messages of the Torah to learn as much wisdom as we can, as early as we can, through the Torah, and then we can apply it to life's experiences, and thereby experiencing a very pleasurable, wonderful life.